we love we love that kid so much and mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult not having him here parents devastated by tragedy talk about how they want their son to be remembered good evening and thanks for joining us last friday east jessamine high school canceled its football game against collins rather suddenly since then, grief counselors have been at the school as students and the community deal with a wide range of emotions. Tyler Melito joins us now with the latest on the death and how the student is being remembered. Not long after the game was canceled on Friday, we learned it was because of the sudden death of freshman Jacoby Pittman. His parents today confirmed to us their son took his own life. I sat down with them as they tried to process this sudden loss while wanting to spread the word that there is support for anyone who needs it always wanted to be there for his teammates and his friends and people gravitated toward my son. When Chris and Laura Pittman found out their son Jacoby Pittman had passed, they described it as a whirlwind. They say they had seen no signs that he was unhappy. I was at work and I got the phone call from her and I just sped here as fast yeah. as I could. Um, and by the time I got here, it was already a circus, and it was a uh, it, it was surreal. In the days following their son's death, Chris, Laura, and their two daughters have seen an overwhelming amount of support come from all over. More support than we would have ever imagined. Um, I mean, in every way. Um, you know, what can I do for you? You know, just to talk to financially. Um, Food food, just anything, things we didn't even think of that we might need right now. Even in their grief, the Pittmans want to make clear that they are there for any other parent or child going through tough times. Uh, yeah, that my door is always open. Uh, this front door is always open. If anybody's struggling, if anybody needs help, if anybody wants to just sit and talk, uh, my door is always open, uh, you know, especially Jacoby's friends and inner circle. I know those guys are struggling. I know they are. Um, if you need to talk, please come talk to me. If they had the chance, Jacoby's family members each have something they'd want to say to their loving son and brother one last time. You're the best brother ever. There's a lot of people who loved you. There's a lot of people who loved you. Yeah, and we love you and miss you. Such a small thing, like, can't ruin your whole life. Like, it won't stay there forever. That problem, it won't stay there forever. It'll eventually just go away. The family knows they'll continue to need the support and prayers of the community. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health issues, you are encouraged to call 988. We'll have information regarding Jacoby's visitation and funeral on our website, fox56news.com. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Molito.